Hello guys, it is I, October Offensive Leader here with another tutorial on how to do previews for Rock Band 3 Customs on Dolphin Emulator on Wii. So, with to how to add customs such as uh, like Xbox cons into converting into .app folders, what you have to do will basically uh, go to the to this little thing called the um, Onyx right here. And usually, the you will have to put it on a uh, file I'll, uh, like this one, Rock Band 3 Wii Customs. I already have mine. This is my custom of Chad Kroger's Hero featuring Josie Scott from Spider Man, the 2002 film featuring Tobey Maguire. Um, so, what you're going to do is that um, whatever con you have uh, that you want to do previews, actually, so what you're going to do is um, convert this to Wii. What you're going to do is drag this to here, then go to Rockman 3 Wii, and for here, you would have to generate preview audio only, uh, to the corresponding time that you put for your audio. So then you will create .app files, you have to put um, Rockman 3 Wii Customs, you will put OK, and let, let it uh, process for the moment. And there we go. So now you're gonna ask, where where am I gonna put the uh, uh, these two apps right here? So what we're gonna do is that we are gonna go on documents on uh, let's see, Dolphin Emulator, then later on we title zero 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 one zero 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 five this then content and you know just basically uh, drag these two app files into here and refresh if you want and there you already have your customs already planned out I already have the custom already imported so we're gonna do now for the dolphin so now um, my recommended version to use Dolphin would be the 5.0 version or 5.0 5 as you can see uh, you need to get your own copy of Rock Band 3 of course whichever it will work so now to make it work with all of the uh, all of the um, controllers uh, what you're gonna do is that uh, you will go to controllers then every single one through 1 to 4 you're gonna put on emulated Wii mode then configure then for whatever you'll put in on default you have to remember some of the things as you can see right here so later this will be guitar and guitar these will be for guitar and bass and for here this will be for drums as you can see because as you can see there's an extension for it you can always configure it over here oh and um, you need to change your uh, d-pad configurations or on the stick that usually it says up and down, left and right. You can change it to the uh, keyboard number pad because if you put it at the same uh, keys or controls as the uh, as the other controllers, it can be quite a little bit confusing to navigate. But it's much. For, but for me, it's recommended to you know just use a different number pad or like some uh, another me method for the pad. The same goes for the. Uh, uh, for base in general, like it can be for WASD, and you know the others can be regular. Now for autoplay, you will have to get the gecko codes. I will put it in the description down below. So the, these are the gecko codes. The only thing that you can put in my in my recommendation, if you don't care about the um, band animations, is to put it on concentration mode and never video venues and you know start fat start out if you don't want to wait for the entire logo to you know do its thing and so you're gonna put fake microphone 1 connected fake microphone 2 connected and fake microphone 3 connected and autoplay mode that's how you're gonna get um, uh, all of the thing all of the bands or the instruments to uh, play the instruments without you playing it and I've, I've tried with deep play overdrive if possible. For me, um, 
it was quite well it, I don't know I don't think it worked or maybe I have to put the BNA but I don't know I didn't really touch it but whatever so now that you got everything settled we're gonna start the game this in full screen. So you're gonna let this uh, load up, right? Like when you usually record your um, uh, on game plays and stuff. So yeah, so this is how it automatically. Puts in it automatically puts in for test account your main profile, and uh, you know, and the rest will be saying player one, player four, player three, and so on. So now that the uh, as you can as did you saw the uh, progress bar on the customs or the downloadable content as it said right there. Now you're gonna go and play now, and then you know go to the customs that you want to record on. And here it is. Now then later, you're gonna go and do this. Uh, if you have harmonies, of course, uh, put it on harmony and put the other on bass, put the other on guitar, and for drums, on pro drums. Then click, down, uh, to select the D-pad, then OK, then then over here, expert. Here. Here. And wait as it loads. Don't worry about the online players. It Go. As you can see, uh, let me just continue a little bit. So, uh, I am so high, uh, I can hear as you can see, every instrument is playing, and it's working really good, actually. I'm so high, I can hear and you know, some bonus, of course, that works really well, too. Anyways, that will be all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if anything, leave some questions down the comment sections below, and I'll gladly answer them with the most that I know of. And um, yeah, uh, see you guys later.